Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So a very simple, how will you launch some external application with Java? For example, I want to launch Notepad. I want to launch any VLC player. I want to launch any specific uh, browser. Also, I want to launch so how to use that, right? So for, to do this, what exactly we have to do is we have to use one inbuilt class. That class name is called runtime class. And then there is a method that is called get runtime method is available you must have seen a lot of time and this get runtime method is actually giving you the runtime class reference okay object here so i'm just creating one runtime reference here for example let's see this is my runtime and uh, let's see the reference name is runtime is equal to this okay after that what you just need to do is you just use this particular runtime dot and there is a number of methods are available exec method is available it means execute method so this method is overloaded method. It's having number of parameters like a string string array a string command then some string array or something like this. Right. So for example, let's see. I want to use this command and then I want to launch my notepad. So I'll simply say notepad dot exe file. For example, I want to launch it. Okay, so let's see it is really launching the notepad or not. So it will give you one a suggestion also let's see add a throws a declaration that you can add it or you can add the try catch block also but let's run it and let's see it is working or not and then it should launch the notepad so see it is launching a notepad within a second okay now let me just close it now for example let's see i want to open it this uh, notepad i want to close it so if you mouse over on exact method is saying it will return the process over here so can I store inside the process? Let's see process PR, which is equal to this. And after that, you will get one method over here that is called the destroy method. It means you launch it and then you destroy it. And then I'll do one thing. I'll just put a thread dot sleep for time being so that I can verify that. Okay, yeah, it is actually launching or not. So I'll just apply thread dot sleep of four seconds and then let's run it again. And let's see after four seconds, the notepad will be automatically closed. See, this is a notepad and after four seconds, it should be closed. So this is absolutely closed over here like that. OK, so this is a very simple program. Let's see that I have written now. For example, let's see I have one uh, file. Let's see. I'll go to this particular demo folder under this demo folder. This test one txt file is already available. When you open that something is written. Let's see. Hi, Naveen is already written here. I want to launch this particular file with notepad txt file. So how will OK, how will you do that? So you just copy this particular path. And in this case, what you have to do is here after this notepad.txt or exe file that you have written after that, you just paste that particular path here. So when you paste that, okay, you have to give that okay, which file? So put a hash and the file name is what the file name that we are using test one and the exact extension, whatever the uh, file name dot txt file that we are going to use it. So this time it should open this file in this notepad.exe file. Okay, with notepad actually so you can see that hi Naveen is getting open and after four seconds it will be destroyed automatically. So this is a way you can simple launch any application with this runtime dot executable command. You can use it easily. Now let's see some more better example. Uh, let's see. I just use this runtime once again and I'll use this runtime dot exact method. I'll be using it over here and this time I'm going to use this method. See this carefully. I want to use this method where you have to pass as a string uh, array over here. Can you see that the string array, right? But before that, I'm going to create one string array. So for example, let's say I'm going to create one string s is equal to a new string. Let's say I'm going to define one uh, string. I want to check that. Okay, I want to open a specific application like the google.com or something like this in chrome.exe file. It means with the help of Chrome browser, I want to open google.com. So how will you do that? So in this case, if you go to my C drive, for example, let's see if I go to my C drive. Under C drive, you go to program files x86, go to Google, go to Chrome and go to application and then here this chrome.exe file is available. So what you do, you just copy this entire path and then you simply paste it over here. And then what is the file name? The file name is chrome.exe file. This is executable file that you have to use it in Mac machine. You have to use one single forward slash over here like this. So let's see. This is the first thing that I have written over here. After that, the second parameter that you have to pass, put a comma in double quotes. You simply supply HTTPS or HTTP whatever the URL. Let's see www dot. I want to write google.com. 
I want to launch this application and then put a semicolon. And after that, what you do, you simply supply uh, S over here like this. Okay, so runtime dot executable and then you simply write S and then that's it after that. I'll do one thing. Let me just comment it out uh, this one and then let me run it. So this time what will happen? I want to launch google.com here, whatever the google.com application. I want to launch with Google uh, Chrome browser and then let's see it is opening or not. So let's run it and let's see. See here you can see that google.com open immediately. Right. So this is also way in Java. You can easily launch any browser. You just need to tell the which browser that you want. You just need to give the path of that exe file and let's say I want to open Amazon. Dot com this time. Let's run it again and let's see. See, so it will pick the existing browser and then the new tab Amazon.com got added over here or launched here. So this is another way of launching Google Chrome and then enter the specific URL that you want to execute that. So this is other one more way of using this to launch the external application. Now, for example, let's see, I want to launch a VLC media player. And I want to launch any specific mp3 file or mp4 file. So in this case again, I'm going to create one string s array parameter which is equal to new uh, string array and then here first thing I'm going to pass where exactly your VLC media player is available. What we have to do we have to for program files. I think video LAN should be there. Yeah, this one not a real VNC. This is a video LAN, and this is a VLC media player. Under this VLC media player, this is the VLC executable file is available. So what do you do? You simply copy this path, okay? And uh, after that, you just simply paste it over here, and then you have to write VLC.exe file. This is also backslash, and then you have to pass that which file, which MP4 file that you want to you want to open with the VLC media player. So let's see. I'll just open. There is one new dummy MP4 file that I have already created. I'll do one thing. I'll just copy this path and give it over here. And then the file name is new dot whatever the extension is there MP4 or MP3 or whatever. See in this case MP4 is there. So I'll be using MP4 open or not. Okay. And then I'll do one thing after thread dot sleep for four seconds or two three seconds. Just get uh, delete also or destroy that particular process also. So before that I'll be using this my uh, runtime processor that we have created and then I'll be using that exact command and then pass a string s array over here and let's see immediately after uh, wait for two seconds and then you destroy that particular destroy means just close this particular uh, uh, VLC media player and this exact will be giving you one process a PR which is equal to this. So let's run it and let's see. See awesome. I'll show you once again right click on it go to run as and observe that VNC VLC media player got opened new dot mp4 file and then that closed. So these are the ways that you can use to launch to launch some external application like that you can launch notepad word document any uh, specific media player also you can launch it or any specific browser also you can launch it. So you can try with different other browsers like Firefox or edge driver or edge browser whatever that you want to use it or any other media player that you want to launch it. You can easily do it over here like this. So this is just a simple video. A couple of people they were asking, can you please prepare one video on runtime? It's a very basic stuff, but uh, I hope it's clear now. Okay, so please subscribe to the channel, guys. There are a lot of good things are coming on this channel. Let me know if you have any issues. Till then, take care and God bless you all.